Okay, now technical analysis versus fundamental analysis. Fundamental analysis is that Warren Buffett stuff. And believe me, there is definitely a place in the world for that stuff. However, the difference is that that is more oriented towards wealth creation over a longer time frame. Okay, so it's not to be dismissed. Whereas the technical analysis tools that I'm showing you this weekend are more are oriented entirely towards income generation in short time frames, within short time frames. Do you understand the difference? Okay. Now, who would be interested to learn more about Warren Buffett's methods? Yeah, a few of you? Okay. So later on, I'll tell you a bit more about mentoring for success. And that's, as I said, that's where we spend entire coaching sessions teaching you all about how to identify a good company from a bad one. So that information is useful, not only in determining share individual shares to buy in public companies, but if you decided you want to buy a business as well, just on your own, be it a small business, large business, or whatever, then you would use the same principles. In other words, um, who, who's ever thought, oh, I'd like to buy that business, but I don't really know how to do the homework on it. Who's ever thought that? Anyone? Exactly. So there, there are some basic things that you can look for statistically or financially they can give you all of the uh, can reveal all the secrets that you need to know about a business in order to determine if it's a good one or a bad one so one of the things that fundamental analysis gives us is the ability to work out what the real value of a company is based on its performance and simply by then looking at what the real value is we then marry that up against the actual price that we're paying and we can work out if it's overpriced or underpriced Yep.